So here we are, video number two on Smash Ultimate. I'm sure that the 10 of you who actually watch my channel were just dying to know what I think about the game now that I've had the opportunity to play it, right? Well, wonder no more because today's video is my post-gameplay review of our brand spanking new Smash game. So my last video on Smash Ultimate was one of my more popular videos, and it was my very first video to receive dislikes. I put a disclaimer at the beginning of that video saying that I could change my opinions once I actually played the game. Now that I've played it, I will admit that some of my opinions have changed. I've only put about four hours total into the game because I don't actually own a Switch. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So the only time I can play is when one of my friends brings their Switch over, and then I'm like... <sighs> In this video, I'm not going to cover the entirety of the game since I haven't actually done all there is to do in this game. This video will focus solely on the traditional Smash game mode, which is the only game mode that really matters. So yeah. In my last video, I was pretty harsh on this game because I thought it was going to be a glorified Smash 4 game. I really liked the competitive side of Smash and didn't see Ultimate being any better than Smash 4 was as far as competitive goes. Nintendo was adding in some pretty sweet new mechanics, but it didn't seem enough to make Ultimate really stand out from Brawl or Smash 4, and Nintendo seemed to have far more emphasis on the look of the game than the feel of the game. Once I played the game, I found out... Ensign, you're absolutely right. But you're also absolutely wrong. The amount of tech that this game has to offer is limited compared to, say, Melee, which, if you haven't figured out by now, is really what I wanted. I wanted Melee tech in Ultimate, but easier to execute, like Rivals of Aether. Obviously Sakurai wasn't going to do that, but I was correct in the emphasis of Ultimate's aesthetics. The game looks amazing. I mean, it really does. These are the best graphics of any Smash game. From the status effects to the kill move close-up, this game looks really good. Too good, in fact. Newer games seem to have this problem all the time, where the graphics are so realistic and vibrant that the relevant and the irrelevant become almost indistinguishable. Halo 5 is the perfect example of this. There are so many light sources, so many things to get your attention. What am I looking at? What am I supposed to shoot? Then you go to Overwatch, where every relevant detail is exaggerated so that you have every opportunity to see it. Enemies are outlined in red to distinguish friend from foe, and even see more clearly in darker areas. Even when Overwatch gets chaotic, the graphics are designed to help you understand exactly what you're seeing. Smash Ultimate suffers from that same eye-melting graphic disease as Halo 5. It's not anywhere near as bad as most games nowadays, but compared to the more simplistic graphics of previous Smash titles, it's definitely noticeable. Now, as far as Ultimate's competitive aspects go, I was slightly surprised at how well the game works in tournaments. It's not just the aesthetics either that make this game actually fun to watch. Pros have already figured out some ridiculous combos for characters, and tournament matches are hype right now. Smash Ultimate contains two ingredients that make a casual gamer like me look better than I actually am. These two things are increased hit stun and jump speed. Smash 4 had such little hit stun that most characters had air dodges and combo breakers available to them before you could finish your combo. This led me to learn how to implement frame traps in my setups, but those aren't nearly as satisfying as being able to punish bad DI and finish combos. But now that Ultimate's hit stun is almost as long as Smash 64, combos are far easier to create and complete, and jump speed is crazy in this game. No other Smash game had characters almost teleporting to the height of their grounded jump like this game. You reach max height so fast, you're able to combo your grab so easily. Overall, this is the best Smash we've ever seen. I know this game has some things that seem overlooked by the developer, but if you think about how massive this game is, it's impossible for Nintendo to catch everything. Something will have to slip through the cracks. I think some things need to be fixed, but some things I'm really hoping don't get patched up. As far as the game's traditional Smash mode goes, it is really good. I mean, really good. Ganon is still bad but he did get some pretty sweet smash attacks. I'm still salty about Breath of the Wild Zelda not being an ultimate, but Between Worlds Zelda also works for me being the traditional Princess Zelda. I don't hate the game, I don't think it's trash, I just love beating all of my friends in Smash. 